Hey guys, it's Sim Queen, and this is a part 135 of the Decades Challenge, also the last part of the 60s, the 1960s. So, um, it's Donna's birthday episode, and I have decided to give her a 70s style makeover. So, I couldn't find a ton of custom content, but I did have quite a bit already in my game, so I've just pretty much used what I already had and didn't download too much extra stuff. Um, so this is her first outfit, which I absolutely love, by the way. This hair is so perfect for the 70s. I just, I, I don't know. I'm going to have to link it in the description because it's that good. Um, so that's that's her hair that she's going to have, that kind of like blowout look, very um, Farrah Fawcett. And then she's got this off the shoulder, I guess tartan is the pattern for that. And then of course some bell bottom jeans. So this probably is my favorite outfit. I think it's just scream 70s. Um, it screams Jackie Burkhart to me from that 70s show. So that's the first outfit. Uh, then this is the second one here, which is just like a recolor of one of the outfits she already has. Um, but I think it's pretty perfect for her. Uh, and this one here, the pinstriped bell bottoms, like a floral shirt and a hat. I think that one's also quite 70s. And then uh, this one, also very Jackie Burkhart to me, this like multicolored striped um, sweater with uh, jeans, uh, bell bottoms. And then the last one is this one right here. So again, with the same bell bottoms, I just used those for a few of her outfits because I thought it worked so well. And uh, yeah, those are her outfits. Her formal wear, I think that I have pretty much just chosen um, some, I guess you can, I don't know, they're not very 70s, this, this is quite 70s, very Baywatch, a little inappropriate, but you get the point, um, it's, it's to me very, very 70s, so I went with that, uh, and then her hot weather outfit and her cold weather outfit uh, are just kind of, nothing too exciting, but I do love her everyday outfits. I think they're so perfect for the 70s. And uh, yeah, this is my jam. I'm excited for the 70s. I've been looking forward to the 70s since pretty much I started the Decades Challenge. Um, I think it's going to be a really fun one. Um, we're planning on heading over to Del Sol Valley. And yeah, so this is going to be her birthday. And I did say that I wanted to have a kava party to celebrate her birthday. So that is what I have set up. That's happening at noon. So downstairs here, I've put, I guess not downstairs, outside, I have put some picnic tables, there's balloons, there's some music, uh, this table here, a cooler, I also got a bonfire, so we should be having a pretty good time. I think that it's going to be a good party, um, the principal's calling, because they're all missing school um, for this, this party, so yeah, the principal's not that impressed. I'm just going to get her to um, practice on her guitar for a little bit. The party doesn't start until noon. Um, oh, and Thanksgiving is tomorrow, of course. So I think I want everyone to like to be in this central sort of area, but I feel like they might leave. I'm gonna get some people to maybe sunbathe in swimwear. You can sunbathe in swimwear too. Um, just to get people um, to just stay down here for a little bit. I don't want them to leave. Uh, we could also get this prepare kava. It's uh, it's $18. That's actually, I didn't know it would cost anything. Um, oh, he has to go to a counter to prepare that. So I'm going to get Marcus to deal with that. Then everybody else is going to do maybe some sunbathing. If not, they could possibly go swimming for a little bit. Um, or just float even. And of course she's playing her guitar. She's level eight, so she's actually um, really good. She's gained a lot of skill. Uh, Marcus, oh, he decided to do this in the bathroom. All right then. Uh, and we got a notification saying that the party starts in one hour, so I was pretty much expecting that. Uh, this looks ready, so I'm gonna put it down, back downstairs onto this table. Uh, I'll put it right there. There we go. Uh, we gotta get some music going. I think probably just some like beach music. Um, turn on backyard Latin pop island radio. I think we'll just go with that for now. Uh, the birthday cake is here. I did have some chips and dip right here. Oh, wait, where'd it go? I did put it out. It's gone now. Oh, I feel like somebody ate it. <laughs> that did not take long. Um, what happened to that? Oh, it's still in the fridge. Okay, we'll put that there. And I think that's pretty much it. There's some more cake in the fridge, 
but I decided to make this like fancy tiered cake because I almost never make them. Um, so there we go. The party's gonna start pretty soon. We've got some music going, which you can't really hear, but that's all right. Um, can we dance to this music? Oh, he can, good. All right, so the party is going to start now. Um, I kind of want to, I'm not too worried about the whole gold event thing, but I still might follow it a little bit. So maybe we'll get Marcus to, I guess actually no, it is Donna's party. She's the host. So maybe, oh, she can't have kava. Oh, it's an alcoholic beverage, isn't it? Um, let's do call to grab drink and then whoever can actually have it can participate. I feel like teens maybe can't be called to meal. I don't know. Um, these guys are, I think they're teens. Oh no. They're, they're okay. They're adults. They, they can have this. I'm pretty sure that teenagers can't have it because they're just still sitting around, but that's okay. Um, we still kind of completed that. We just need three Sims to grab some kava and then we're good to go. Some people are having chips and dip. Yeah, see, grab a drink of kava for some reason. Why, the ceviche is like the, the hit of the party. I don't really know why. I was hoping everybody would grab some of this. Oh, there we go, okay. Make a kava toast. All right, can we do that? Um, I don't really know how to do that. Do you just click on it? No. Uh, with a cup of kava in hand, select another sim, then make a friendly kava toast. Okay, let's do that. Um, just with his wife should be fine. Uh, um, discuss fine cuisine. I still am not seeing it. Okay then. That's a little weird. I thought we would be able to do this. Um, it said it was under friendly interactions. Maybe I just didn't look hard enough. Uh, I'll look one more time. Literally every single option and I don't see it here. So I think, talk about drink making. No, we can't make a toast. Well, that is life. Um, maybe I'll see if she can, she can do the toast. Still no. All right, well that is a huge waste of time. Um, so I guess I won't even really try because there's there's really no point. Um, he has to go to the washroom. I'm gonna get Marcus to go to the washroom before she blows out her candles. There's some people in there. Oh, does Reese have himself a new girlfriend? Because they're in the bathroom together. I've always felt bad for him because I feel like we 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 did him dirty. Like, um, he's had to watch her date other guys, and he really didn't do anything wrong to begin with. Oh, let's make a feast as well. Uh, we'll cook a grand pit barbecue feast. We'll do our um, pork adobo, I guess. And then that does take a few hours as well. We could also start this bonfire, which is kind of floating here because it's right on the water, but I didn't know where else to put it. There we go. Um, maybe we'll just, sure, do a dance. I don't care, do a fire dance. Doesn't really matter. Um, and we could probably oh where the where the cake go? How can the cake be gone when I had candles on it? That is really weird. I Marcus may have to make another one. Oh, it's right here. Who put that in the fridge? Somebody keeps cleaning up the food, which is supposed to be helpful, but it's it's really not. Okay, you know what? She's got her stupid kava drink in her hand, but yet she still cannot make a toast. I don't know why. Here, Marcus, come outside. Yeah, it just says all you have to do is click on another sim, but that obviously didn't work. I was hoping to do better on this event, but for whatever reason, I can't do the toast part. All right, you know what? Let's come and age up Donna now. I think the time has come. We're going to come blow out the candles. Everyone's dancing and having a good time. I was hoping her whole family would be present for this, but maybe they won't be. Where'd Donna go? Oh, she's coming. I don't know where she was, but she's coming. Okay, so she's gonna blow out her candles. I feel like, I was kind of hoping more people would be paying attention to her birthday party. 
<laughs> but it's kind of like nobody really cares um, about this. I'm just trying to get a different, a few different screenshots. So I have a few to choose from. Good enough. All right. Donna is becoming a young adult, which is crazy to me. All right, so she already has a uh, music lover and creative, so we're going to randomize her last trait. And as long as it's not evil, because I will not play with that trait unless it's the first trait they develop. So let's see what she gets. She's mean. Okay. Donna is mean. Well, I mean, that's all right, I guess. I mean, you can be mean and... Well, I was going to say you could be mean and still be a good person, but I really don't know if that's true. Um, she will just be mean-spirited now and then. Um, that'll just have to be one of her traits, I guess. <laughs> There's really not much we can do about it. You can't have perfect sims all the time. She had two really good traits. They can't all be great. Um, can we maybe go over to Keenan and kiss? And then also cozy up at Bonfire is kind of cute. I think everyone's having a pretty good time. Oh, except for Debbie, who is literally going to pee herself at this party. Oh, that's embarrassing. She's going to try to make it. We'll see if that actually happens. I kind of doubt it. Um, Marcus, you should go grab that meal. Oh, can we not grab the meal? I don't know if that's possible. Yeah, he can't do it. All right. Oh, she got it. Okay. Um, Kelly grabbed it, so we'll just put it right here, and then anyone that wants some food can grab it. I don't think any of them are really hungry because they just had the cake, but that's all right. She's just socializing with everybody at the party. I, I do want these two to, um, cozy up at the bonfire if they can. There we go. See, I think that's kind of cute. Um, they make a pretty nice couple. I don't know if those two will last. I have no idea. Um, I have a feeling that her music career is just going to come before literally anything else. Uh, let's add some fuel to that. There we go. And the party's almost over. Um, I was hoping to have a water balloon fight. Because I i don't think I really... I think I tried it when Seasons first came out, but I haven't played it since. So maybe we'll, we'll see if we can do that. Um, Cabot party complete. Silver medal, medal earned. That's fine. Let's just do a fight with everyone that's here, if possible. Except for Eleanor, apparently she gets no fun. Yeah, I haven't really seen this animation in a while. Okay, so you literally just whip water balloons at each other. I don't know where, oh, okay. Yep, everyone's participating. I think that's kind of a nice way to end this. The whole family having a water balloon fight. Yeah, they seem to be having a pretty good time. I'm gonna miss this family. It just kind of occurred to me because we are leaving literally after this party is over. Um, we're gonna be moving Donna out and I'm gonna miss this whole family. Like, it's been a lot, I won't lie. It's been um, a busy household. We've always had a full household. But I loved it. Like, the, the story of Deborah and Marcus has been so cute. I just love it. I think it's great. Um, I'm going to put this guitar in Donna's inventory. And then what else do, should we bring? I don't really think we need much else for Donna. She has the keyboards in here. Um, I think we're all set pretty much. Maybe I'll bring... Yeah, no. I think that's it. I think we're pretty much set. But yeah, that was uh, that was pretty much it for the 1960s. That is over. It's the year 1970. I think the 70s is going to be so much fun. I'm really looking forward to it. And I think Donna is going to have a really fun story as well. She wants to be, I guess, probably a rock star. Something in the music career. So that's going to be interesting. Um, she's also a mean sim. So she may have to step on a few necks to get there. And I don't think she would be above that. Uh, I'm going to try to play it so that we don't end up hating Donna, but it might be a little tough. Um, <laughs> okay, so it's starting to rain. It's dark. I think this party is pretty much over. We had a pretty good ending. And uh, we're going to head over to Del Sol Valley. Okay, so here we are in Del Sol Valley. I meant to give her a little bit of money that her parents saved. There we go. 
Um, she's got 6,500 left over. So Donna has moved into this little um, cul-de-sac, or not cul-de-sac really, but this street here in Del Sol Valley. Um, and she's got a pretty small house. Um, now the, the plan is she's going to live in this place for a little bit. I tried to, I downloaded it from the gallery, by the way, and I tried to give it like a bit of a seventies rundown vibe on the inside. So that's what we're going for. It's pretty small. We won't be here for a really long time. Um, at least I hope not, but this is kind of, this will be where we start out, I guess. And we're going to invite Lindsay over because I was thinking Lindsay could be her roommate. Uh, we could possibly even have two roommates, uh, maybe Keenan, her boyfriend, or I think probably just Lindsay because that's who she's really close with. <clears throat> so I'm going to invite her over and then also um, we've got some mail here, so I might as well grab that. I have no idea what the mail would be. We literally just moved in, but we'll check that out. Um, now, I don't exactly know how to do this. Um, give residents keys, roommate, ask to be roommate. There we go. I have never done this before. I've never actually had a roommate before. So we're going to see how that goes. Locks up. Uh. <laughs> and then I was thinking um, Keenan could be her other roommate, so we'll invite him over as well. Uh, and also remember, Ke oh, sorry, but I've got others in my household that depend on me. I can't be your roommate. Okay, well, that's not good. I feel like Keenan's gonna say the same thing. I have actually, I remember watching one of James Turner's Let's Plays and he was having the same issue and he had to go through a lot of trouble to make it work. I'll ask Keenan, but I don't think he'll say yes either. I think he lives in the same household. So we'll see what happens. That, so did that not work then? Roommate, ask me to write, try again, I guess. Yeah, he said the same thing. Um, I'll try to figure that out and try to make that work. Uh, in the meantime, we need to find Donna a job um, because we definitely want her to get involved in uh -huh. the music career as soon as possible. Um, so we're going to go to Entertainer. And she is only an amateur, so she's going to need to work on that a little bit. Um, her daily task is to practice music, so we'll do that for a little bit. Um, yeah, those two are siblings, so they have a pretty close relationship. I'll have to figure out where they live and maybe set it up so that we can be roommates. I'm not sure how to do that. Also, we have a spider. We have a pet spider. Um, this place, when I first downloaded it, it was pretty run down. Like, the windows are broken. There's some cobwebs. It's not great at all. The, the carpet is dingy. But I thought it was really perfect for what I wanted. Um, I mean, at least for Donna, for her very first house. And uh, eventually we're going to live in my favorite build that I've ever done, which is called that 70s house. Um, I built it a while ago, but I've never had the opportunity to live in it. And we are definitely going to do that as soon as we can. Um, okay, Donna has gone to bed. What are you two doing? How long do you plan on staying for? Okay, she's leaving. Okay, he, he needs to leave now. Oh, he's not going to. I'm going to turn the TV off. Uh, there we go. That prompted him to leave. So he's out of here. Um, her first day of work, she works from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Um, I think because she is already so advanced in the skill, she may be able to get promotions faster than normal. Um, at least I'm hoping so. And today's Thanksgiving. I personally don't believe that she is going to care too much about Thanksgiving. She is far more interested in her own life. I mean, it's her first day living in the city. She's going to be going to um, her, first day, her first day of work. I think she is just not really that focused on her family at this point. But I think this house is really cute. I'm a big fan. I think she's going to like living here. Um, get the mail again. I still don't know what's in there. Oh, she looks really sad today. I, I do want to get a screenshot. Um, maybe it's her rundown house that she's not loving. But we do have to make some more money for sure. What did we get? I don't even know. I honestly do not know. Um, let's work hard today. We want to get as many promotions as possible. Donna has been invited to give the toast at her best friend's wedding. At last, a captive audience. Does she play it safe and keep the friend's skeleton in the closet or bear all the hopes and of good... Oh, wow. Bear all in... They're all in the hopes of a good laugh and maybe even a gig. We're going to roast them good because she's not a very nice person. So we're going to try that. Wow, Donna has never had such an enthusiastic crowd. 
Turns out this assembly of family and friends has a wicked sense of humor. Donna's friend is furious to be humiliated at his own wedding, but Donna has some great new material to play with now. Performance gain, small. Um, I like that it gives us a little options because I always try to choose based on what I think that Sim would do. Uh, and she's got the mean trait, so that's what we went for. And it looks like we're going to get a promotion today, which is good. Perfect. Promoted to open mic seeker. So just one day at work and we're already there. Um, let's go take a bath because that needs to happen. Marcus Winters is calling. I don't want to hang out with him. No offense to Marcus, her poor dad. Can we not take a bath here? Oh, I feel like the sink is ruining it for us. Um, I guess I'll just put in a stand-up shower. Looking at that, I wouldn't think that it would be that difficult, but I guess it is. Uh, let's just do like this one. It's kind of run down. Yeah, I don't plan on staying here for very long <laughs> at all. Um, all right, so she's taking a shower. I'm just gonna look at her career. Open mic seeker. Uh, she doesn't work tomorrow, which kind of sucks because I would like to have the opportunity to advance in the career. Uh, we could invite Keenan over, uh, but first let's go make some dinner. We're just gonna make some franks and beans. Um, she can't really cook yet, so we need to be a little more uh, scaled at that first. I think she has no cooking skill, honestly. I just, I don't see her spending a lot of time on skills that don't interest her. Like she would spend all of her time on guitar or singing or some kind of instrument. So as you can see, she made some poor quality Franks and beans. She's gonna choke it down anyway. Uh, we could have Keenan come over possibly, but I don't know. I don't know what I wanna do here. Need to write jokes or practice music. I feel like we've done a lot of that. Uh, another thing we could do is check out what other skills she's going to need for this career because she will need more. Um, we could also explore Del Sol Valley a little bit. Also, why do we keep getting mail constantly? I don't know what's in there. Yeah, I've checked it multiple times and for some, I think it's just a glitch. It doesn't ever change. So I am just going to leave it. I guess there is some mail in there that can never be collected. So... That's fine. She's gonna play her guitar for a little bit. I think it might be time to get her a new one though. I think she needs something a little bit different. Maybe more expensive than this one. She is having a genuinely good time though. And she's almost level nine in that skill. All right, I'm gonna send Donna to bed. I know we're kind of playing through quite quickly, but for the most part, I'm just trying to get her promoted and get her a little bit further in her career and of course making some more money as well. Um, also her neighbors here, this is a house full of um, 70s style sims that I got from the gallery and they've got like great 70s names, outfits, everything. So it'd be kind of nice to go over there and meet those guys at some point. Um, let's maybe go to the washroom, grab some breakfast. Um, I guess if we see anybody wandering out here, we could always just go and talk to them. But I was hoping that those Sims could become her friends. They, um, I, that's pretty much the whole purpose of them being there, but I haven't seen anyone wander out yet. There's like, I don't know, maybe five or six Sims in that household and they're all young adults. So definitely um, a household that we would want to check out. Uh, maybe we'll invite Keenan over again. Um, also, I need to look into when birth control was invented because I don't think, I can't remember if we're using it yet. I think we are. Uh, yeah, it was in the 1960s, so we are allowed to take it. That is good to know. Um, of course, I find this out as Keenan is making his way over here. Um, so yeah, we'll take some of that just in case he actually wants that to happen. I feel like they might as well. Woohoo. Um, there he is. He came over in a hurry. He must have known what she was calling for. Um, let's go maybe caress cheek, blow a kiss. And then woohoo with Keenan. Uh, definitely not try for baby. I don't want to be slowed down just yet. Um, I think, I kind of think Donna isn't even thinking about kids in her future. Um, she just is all about music. Like I, I think that Donna would probably maybe not even really want kids that much. Um, 
But of course, it does have to happen to continue the generation, so we probably still will at some point. Uh, I just want to see if she knows any of her neighbors. No, she does not. Uh, what can we do? Move in household, visit residency. I don't want to visit because then that's a loading screen and nobody wants that. <laughs> Let's change into another outfit here. I think what we'll do probably in the next part is like go out somewhere in Del Sol Valley, but for now, um, we're just, we're gonna keep playing her guitar. Uh, we also have the keyboards, which I think I'll just put down like anywhere, there, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter at all. Oh, welcome to the neighborhood, there we go. Her neighbors are here. So we've got Freddie Bales, Scott Ridley, and Clifton Scruggs. Um, let's go invite them all in. Oh, and this one, this one here, Stephen McGregor. A whole bunch of guys have come over to meet her. I, he's Keenan's probably not that impressed, but that's all right. Um, they brought fruit cake. Let's go over and maybe talk to some of them. That was really easy. I wanted to meet these Sims. Um, but there, I did have some women in that household. I just don't know where they are. Uh, let's ask about his career. Let's um, brighten his day. We're just going to chat with as many of these guys as we can. We could always form a band with them too. We could also maybe see if any of them want to be our roommates. Let's ask about this guy. He may say no though. Are you going to ask him? He's holding his, no. Thanks for the offer, but I already have a home. That's, well, of course you do, but. Oh my God. Well, I guess um, they just don't want, I guess I'll ask this one. They all live together. So I, I think they'll say the same thing. Sorry, but others in my household that rely, oh. Okay, so I guess we can't really do that. Um, let's go meet everybody else. I think that she would be probably looking for whoever she can to suck up to to get ahead in her career so she's getting to know everyone that is around um ask about career we want to know who has a similar career to her or who might be just like in the industry Clifton is a lawnmower okay well that's not it freddie is a mechanical genius uh, i think steven was um unemployed we'll ask about this guy uh, this, I think his name is Scott. Uh, he's unemployed too. Okay, well, we're doing all right. We're just getting to know them at the very least. Um, let's maybe brighten his day. Discuss neighborhood changes. I wonder when her mean-spiritedness would come out. Like, at what point do we release that? He's self-assured. Oh, so Stephen is very confident. Tell him a gross joke. Um, let's talk about discuss favorite band. Oh, what are these two doing? Oh, okay. I thought they were like being intimate, but really he's just standing in his way. I see. Tell him a funny story. Um, I think she might flirt with him a little bit, just like possibly innocently. Let's just go for it. We'll just try it. He's actually kind of a cute sim. Those two would make a good couple. Um, but I mean, she is with Keenan, but I don't know how long that would last for. I wonder how that's gonna be received. Not so bad. Um, compliment his outfit and rave about favorite singers. I don't know, I just wanna get to know them. Thanks for coming and we'll flirt again. Maybe even exchange numbers, actually. Um, like I said, she's a mean sim, so I don't know. Stepping out on Keenan may not be that far off. Um, we'll also share ideas. So she's getting to them all. I think I'm going to leave this episode right here. If you guys enjoyed this episode, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.